Hi, I'm Dr. Paige Wallace, the Urgent Care Coordinator here at Tier 1 Veterinary Medical Center, and today we're going to talk a little bit about tail docking versus tail amputation. Tail docking is usually an elective procedure. It's not, strictly speaking, medically necessary. A lot of dogs have short tails, and most of them are not born that way. Usually, they're docked or bobbed within the first one to five days of life. This is usually done with the dew claw removal, if that's going to be pursued. This is usually rooted in historical purposes for one reason or another, but it's become the look that the breed is recognized for, so it's commonly continued today. There's a lot of countries that have actually started to outlaw this particular procedure and other states that have implemented restrictions on it because it's not always considered medically necessary. There's many veterinarians in the United States who will still do tail docking and it varies at the age it's done. Like I said, usually the first five days of life. It can be pursued later if for one reason or another a puppy is not healthy enough to have it done right away. A little bit of research, you can still find veterinarians who are willing to do tail docking. It just has to be an open conversation between you, your breeder, and your veterinarian or theirs. It's something that should be reviewed as a discussion with them before you proceed. On the other hand, tail amputation is generally a medically necessary procedure that your veterinarian will recommend because of some sort of injury or trauma that has happened to your animal's tail. This can be as the result of major trauma like pulling injuries, getting hit by a car, getting in a major fight, something like that. Another common classification for the type of trauma that's sustained by a tail is called happy tail. This is a layman's term. But what happens is the dog is so excitable and they wag their tail so much and so hard that they'll beat it on things. And we've all heard this sound or, you know, had our calves pay the price for it. But they can actually hit their tails so hard that they burst open the skin and it causes a bleed and an injury. The tail doesn't have a lot of great tissue and circulation for healing these injuries, so they can be very difficult to get to heal properly especially because you can't get the dog to stop wagging their tail and continually beating that injury. So there's a bunch of ridiculous bandages that we put on them, get it to heal, but that scarred tissue is weak, so it's more likely to break open again and bleed. And this will happen repeatedly up until the point of some severe cases actually having necrosis or tissue death on the end of their tail, in which case an amputation must happen. Usually at these stages, it's pursued so that the amputated tail portion is so short that it cannot be beat on things anymore. Um, there's a lot of considerations for how short a tail should be docked, more than just aesthetics, but this is a conversation you'd have to have with your vet based on the injury, the location of the injury, and the needs of your animal. Tier 1 is here for whatever your tail docking or amputation needs may be. Just set up an appointment with one of our doctors and we'd be happy to talk over all of the concerns and causes for having an amputation or docking if that's what you want to pursue. For more information on docking, amputation, the differences and implications of each, check out the blog or like and subscribe to the video for more information that may affect your canine buddy, especially if they spend a lot of time with you outside.